You've heard of inflation, items get more expensive. This pizza used to be $10, now it's $20. You've heard of shrinkflation. Items get smaller, but stay the same price. This pizza is still $10, but it's gotten suspiciously small. Now, there's skimpflation. The price stays the same, but the quality gets worse. This pizza is $10 and pretty average. Where's the cheese? Why does the crust taste so bleh? Skimflation is when a manufacturer or a retailer would be cutting back on um, ingredients, maybe uh, staff numbers, anything that's going to make a product or service uh, a little bit less enticing or you know, at the current standard that it's being sold. Oh, you need another example. Glad you asked. Check out this picture from Tessa in Christchurch. Is that a magnum? No, it's a piece of lightly crumbed hockey. Very, very lightly crumbed. And how about the sandwich from an Auckland Redditor? Uh, half a sandwich, that is. More like a scamwich. Or this spaghetti, minus, you know, the spaghetti. Then there's this egregious example. Here's what was ordered. And here's what was received. Let's just go back to that first photo for a moment. And then look at this guy again. One of these things is not like the others. It's a sneaky tactic because in many cases it's hard to pin down. I think this is a really hard one for people to notice. So it could be happening and, um, and people aren't aware. For example, is your toilet paper a little more rough? Wait, yes. Yes, it is. And here's the rub. It's legal, sort of. Retailers actually have no legal obligation to tell you if your um, virgin olive oil percentage is a little bit lower or they've taken out some ingredients from the source that you love. What the law states is that they um, cannot mislead you. So you cannot be told that this is a, a luxury pasta sauce with amazing ingredients when it's just um, maybe tomato, garlic and a bit of cheese. And what about in the case of a small, sad, pepperoni-less pizza? You would expect that a reasonable amount of the pizza would be covered in pepperoni and you'd have grounds to say, you know, this is misleading, this wasn't what I was expecting, and I would like a refund or a replacement. And there you have it. Hello, I'm calling for pizza. I've <laughs> 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 oh, no, no idea who that was. No. But, um... Experts uh, tell us as well, this is not just in the product industry, it's also in the service industry. So it does happen that you may find that waiting times are getting a bit longer or service quality is just reducing a bit. It's a way of reducing their costs without hopefully reducing the amount that you're paying them. I'm sick of deflations. The Inflation, yeah. bad. Greedflation, mm. bad. Shrinkflation, no. Shrimp, what's this one? Shrimpflation. Yeah, no. There's also shrinkflation as well. That's when yeah. you make them get smaller. I hate them. Get out. <laughs>